we all know that women's clothing is often pocketless, and we all know that that's a really stupid state of affairs, but we don't all know what to do about it. So I'm going to try to make the world a better place and give you the power of knowledge, and it's up to you to do the thing. The easiest way of adding pockets is a patch pocket, and it's so easy that I'm not even going to tell you how to do it in any detail. You just whack a patch of fabric on the surface of your clothing and sew around three sides. Functional, but there's no hiding that you've done it. It's more for your gardening dress than your going out dress. The better choice for your going out dress is the inseam pocket. Find some fabric that's not outrageously different from your dress fabric, unless you want red pockets in your black dress, that would be kind of cool actually. I'm putting a pocket in my Victorian skirt that I wear to work at the museum, so I chose some nondescript brown quilting fabric that doesn't stand out too much. First you're going to make the actual pocket bag, so put the two layers of fabric down and cut round your hand. Carefully, don't cut your hand, that's a rule. Next, sew round the curved edge, but don't sew right to the edges. Find the point where your sewing line meets the seam allowance line at the opening edge. You can just stop sewing there on both ends, or to make the next bit easier, you can turn on the needle and sew those ends along the seam allowance line of the opening side like this. That will allow you to open and maybe even press the pocket bag's seam allowance into a sort of splay. Measure the distance between the pointy bits, the length of the opening, so that you can mark the same length at an appropriate height on the garment's side seam. And double check against reality, that's always wise. Open the garment's side seam by cutting the stitching between the two points, either the fast way, which might risk nicking the fabric if it goes wrong, or the slow way by cutting one stitch at a time. Kind of depending on how sturdy your fabric is, and how sturdy your faith is. Also, all garments are put together differently, so this might take a bit of judgment, depending on whether the seam is overlocked or otherwise reinforced. You can figure it out. Just make a hole the right size without ruining everything if you can avoid it. It's probably a good idea to whack a stitch or two in either end of the new hole so it doesn't unravel any further. So now you're going to lay the splayed seam allowance of the garment against the splayed seam allowance of the pocket and sew them together on this side without catching any other layers in, and then on this side also without catching any other layers in. Except that you are likely to accidentally sew something that shouldn't be in there, so it happens. Just unpick it and roll with the punches. Now you've got the two bits sewn together on both sides. Hopefully the seams sort of match up at the top and bottom-ish. Whatever, it's fine. If you want, you can top stitch or understitch the front edge so the pocket tends toward pointing forward, or you can just get on with your now pocketful life in the secure knowledge that your phone is easy to hand at all times.